Okay then, so now we've got a pretty good idea of what the context API is all about, hopefully, and we know how to use that. Now I want to shift our focus to another part of this course, and that is React hooks. So hooks are a pretty new addition to the React library, and they caused this big whirlwind of excitement when they first came out. So let's take a look at what they are and why they've caused such a big hype. So basically, hooks are just special functions and they allow us to do things inside functional components in React that normally we'd only be able to do inside a class component. For example, using state. Normally, we could only do that in a class component, but by using a hook, which is just a special function, remember, we can now access state in functional components too. Now, this means that if we want to use state in a component now, we don't have to use a class component anymore. We can now write a functional component, which are sometimes leaner, easier to read, and can be more reusable as well to do that. Now, that is not to say that class components are going to go anywhere fast. They're still very widely used. They have their place and they're going to be sticking around for a while, I think. But using hooks is just a different approach, I suppose, which we can now use. Now, there are different hooks in React which do different things but they're all just still functions that tap into some kind of functionality. So for example, we have a use state hook, which allows us to use state inside a functional component. We have this use effect hook, which allows us to run code whenever a component renders or re-renders. And we have a use context hook, which allows us to consume context in a functional component too. So we're gonna be taking a look at all of these different hooks as we go forward. But first of all, I'd just like to set up a new blank React application to work with while we explore these hooks. So what I'd like to do now is create a brand new React application to explore hooks with because I don't want to be using this context app where we're playing around with context. I don't want that to get in the way for now. So I'm going to keep this application, but I'm also going to create another application next to it to explore hooks. Then we'll come back to this context app later on when we start putting the two together. So you can see I'm in this directory, React Context Hooks, which is this directory over here. And I'm gonna say npx create hyphen react hyphen app, and we'll call this hooks app like so. So just press enter to create this. Okay, so now that's created, I just wanna go inside this and clean things up a little bit. So again, I'm just gonna delete a couple of things that I don't think we're gonna need. So app.test.js, we'll get rid of that app.css because again I put all the CSS inside here um, also we don't need the logo and now what I'll do is create a new folder called components because I'm going to create my own component but first of all let's go to app.js and just get rid of the logo and CSS import at the top I also want to get rid of most of this here as well so let's delete that and save it and now inside components I'm just going to create one new component and that is going to be called song list js and inside here this is going to be now a functional component we still need to import react and then down below i'm going to do a functional component a stateless functional component for now now the snippet for that is going to be stateless functional component sfc press tab and then i'm going to call this song list like so okay so inside here we'll just return a very simple template for now uh, this is just going to be a div with a class name equal to song hyphen list and then inside that div we'll just do a ul tag and a couple of different songs an li for each one so the first one is going to be this wild darkness and then the second one i'll just duplicate this is going to be called memory gospel both moby songs highly recommend them okay so now we have a simple template right here for this component we've exported it let's import it into app.js over here so we'll say in fact if we just write out the tag song list it's going to auto import it for us when we select that like so okay so now we should be able to cd into this directory i'll say cd hooks app like so oops not in capitals cd hooks app and then we want to say npm start to spin up a local development service so we see over here that's the old one still so let's say npm start and that's actually come up on my other screen so let me just zoom this across over here 
and now we can see this thing right here. So now we have this simple little project set up. Let's look at our first hook in the next lecture.